Welcome to the Zero Energy Design MOOC. My name is Andy van der Dobbelsteen, and together with Eric van der Ham and Tess Blom, I have prepared this massive open online course that will help you to design or redesign a building to energy neutral or net zero energy. How we will do this, I will explain later. But first, let's see why designing zero energy buildings is important. The reason why we do this starts with the planet we live on, the only planet we know that is inhabitable. Its livable atmosphere is very thin, comparable to a thin foil around a football. As humans, we are disturbing the Earth seriously, endangering our own future, or at least that of future generations. Therefore, in contrast to the generations of planners, architects and engineers before us, we have to face and solve three great sustainability challenges in our work. The first is climate change. It's happening already, and we cannot stop what our parents and grandparents parents have caused. So we have to be prepared for extreme weather events. Depletion of fossil fuels is a challenge. Perhaps we can postpone the end of the fossil era, another human life, but there will be an end to it anyway. And if we want to avoid extreme climate events, we have to switch to clean renewables completely. And also scarcity of other resources is an issue. Many resources are depleting, such as rare earth metals required for electronics, batteries and renewable energy devices. The only way to solve this is to become entirely circular in our material use. This course is focusing mainly on an energy and carbon neutral built environment and indirectly on avoiding excessive climate change. About climate change, every now and then the discussion pops up again about the truth of climate change and the influence of CO2 and humans on it. This course is not going into that debate deeply, but let me clarify that modern climate science is very clear about it. The climate is changing more rapidly than ever before. Natural causes and geological cycles cannot explain this quick change. With probability bordering certainty, 95%, the IPCC, representing thousands of climate scientists, states that the aggravated climate change is caused by greenhouse gases, mostly emitted through human processes. Estimates are varying, but the temperature on Earth will most probably rise between 1.5 and 5 degrees within this century, depending on the action taken or not. All scenarios will have consequences, some very severe. Therefore, it's not for nothing that climate scientists call for ac urgent action. There's another reason why we should shift away from our current centralized fossil fuel-based energy system. Vulnerability. Over the last few decades, many urbanized areas experienced disturbance in the supply of energy, either from natural, technical or political causes. If we want to create a resilient society, our cities have to become more self-sufficient. And there is an important social reason for energy neutrality. This is a map showing the size of the countries in the world if they had to produce all the resources themselves. The Earth's resources are not divided equally and not sustainably managed at present. It is the duty of the westernized world to come up with solutions that can also help developing and emerging economies. It is for these reasons, but especially because of severe climate change, that the Paris agreements were signed by around 150 countries. The implication is that carbon emissions must be reduced, necessitating a rapid energy transition to clean renewables. The built environment is an important factor therein, because it uses 30 to 40 percent of all energy. It needs to become carbon neutral by 2050. In order to achieve this goal, we need to learn how to design net zero energy buildings and also how to make existing buildings energy neutral. This is one of the reasons why we were asked to organize this MOOC on zero energy design, which we had been teaching on campus already many years. There are different definitions related to zero energy design of buildings. One can talk of energy neutral, zero energy or net zero energy. In the Netherlands the term zero on the meter is also well known, indicating that over a year's time there are no energy costs. We define a zero energy building as follows. A building that generates all energy it uses during one year's time fully from renewable sources. In this MOOC you will learn how to analyze energy use of a building, how to analyze the local climate and select appropriate measures, how to use a stepped approach to find the right energy measures, 
and how to develop a net zero energy concept for a building. And such a concept looks like this, a scheme that explains the energy and climate system for the building. Our design approach in this is the new step strategy, as depicted by the sketch below. It starts with a proper study of the local circumstances, research. Then we look at means to reduce the energy demand, by means of passive, smart bioclimatic design and through energy efficient appliances, reduce. There is a lot of residual energy in air, water and material, which often can be recovered to be used in the building. So the next step is to make use of these uh, waste flows, reuse. The final step is to generate the remaining demand from renewable energy sources, produce. If there is waste remaining, it should not disturb the environment anymore, but be food or resource for other processes, as was clarified by the cradle-to-cradle -cradle theory. Here you see the schedule of the MOOC. In the column on the left, you see the week, step and topics. And on the right, special, uh, on the right you see special features we offer during certain weeks. Every week we discuss another step of the approach and you will be asked to work on this step at home. We will offer lectures to teach essential knowledge and in some weeks we will also have a special film. You will get assignments from week one until week five. And finally, you will have to complete your net zero energy plan in week six. Next to the lectures, we will offer online educational material. As students, you will be able to help one another through the online forum and week by week we will pick interesting results or essential things to discuss. Let's have a look at the people behind the scene. You know me already. Next to me you see Eric and Tess. We are the hardcore team of this MOOC. Other colleagues that will come by for a specialist lecture once or twice are Regina, Sabina and Mikhail. We are proud to have two extras for the MOOC three mini-documentaries on net zero energy buildings, which will be shown in the week applicable for the step taken in the redesign. And very special is a mini-film, Energy Slaves. It is the exciting kickstart to the course. So I now invite you to go to our directory on edX and watch Energy Slaves. Have fun! <laughs>